who are really self-confidence boosters. And we bring out the best in people. They, it's there, it's inside. It's just hidden with maybe some wrinkles or acne scars or uh, whatever the case may be, pigmentation, whatever it might be, that makes them self-conscious. And I think when we help what is bothering them, it helps them really kind of unfold and help their, uh, helps them feel better about themselves. And that is huge. That's huge. That's what I love about this position. About We have the ability to help people feel better about themselves. There's broadly two groups of uh, like nurses that, that get into aesthetics. They're people that, I guess, the newer generation that have grown up with these treatments being pretty normal and accepted, and they start their career with nursing with the view to go on and do aesthetics or, or cosmetic cosmetic treatments and then there's nurses like yourself who've come from therapeutic nursing where you've actually been in hospitals and it sounds like your career was, was quite stressful you're dealing with very sick patients and, and real illnesses I'm interested to understand what your mindset was because I'm sure there's a lot of people listening that are thinking wow you know this sounds interesting how do I find out more but then what's that in that that mental journey like for you moving to something that's not really required for health reasons. There's no sort of, in most instances, I know there's a little bit of crossover. There's no real functional or, or, or need for aesthetic treatments. And you're sort of having to, in some ways, completely have a paradigm shift to moving to a treatment that's based on wants and desires rather than medical needs. Exactly. And that's such a good point. And I didn't, I wouldn't be able to answer that if I hadn't worked in this field for a little while and seen what I've seen. I used to think that this stuff was vanity. It was kind of vanity. You kind of do it, want to make yourself look better, whatever. That's, that's not what it is. What we do here in aesthetics is we instill or help to enhance their self-esteem and self-confidence. We're really self-confidence boosters. And we bring out the best in people. They, it's there, it's inside. It's just hidden with maybe some wrinkles or acne scars or uh, whatever the case may be, pigmentation, whatever it might be, that makes them self-conscious. And I think when we help what is bothering them, it helps them really kind of unfold and help their, uh, helps them feel better about themselves. And that is huge. That's huge. That's what I love about this position. About We have the ability to help people feel better about themselves. And I feel blessed every day that I'm, that I'm in this specialty because I realize that's really what we're doing. It's not all vanity. Um, some practitioners just want to get into it for the money. I say, don't just stay where you're working. Don't do it. Uh, patients know uh, if you're in it for the right reasons or not. They know. Yeah. And it really, really comes across if we are there to help patients or not. If we're there just for the money, then um, they know they're just trying to sell things to them. And that's not what we're trying to do at all. We want to be there for them to help their self-esteem and to help them feel refreshed and feel beautiful and to feel like themselves again. And that's what's so fulfilling about this. Yeah, I think you pick that up quite quickly when you train people. I know you do a lot of training, so do I. And when you hear someone's motivations for why they're there, it very quickly becomes apparent if they're not actually passionate or they don't have that you know, innate curiosity to learn a skill and, and throw everything into it. They're just sort of pissed off with their other job. So that's why they're there. It's sort of like a, you know, and to be honest, I had a bit of that in my own sort of career U-turn. So I'm not going to be a hypocrite here. There was a little bit of that, but actually when I started injecting, I loved it. Um, when you did your first training yourself, when you look back on it, would you, would you change anything? I know you've set up your own training school now and we'll come to that, but did you look back at it and think, oh my God, I, I can't believe this is allowed? Uh, way back when, when yeah. I was first being trained by putting non dissolvable fillers in the glabellar lines. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh wow. my God. It was, you know, it, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, and when you, you don't know what you don't know, yeah. you know, I didn't know that somebody could go blind by that. We didn't have that research back then. Yeah. So there's so many things, you know, how many nasal folds did we inject years ago? And nobody ever told us there was an artery under there. Mm. So how in the heck I've gone this far with not having, hold on, let me knock on wood. Yeah. An occlusion. Mm. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Never had. Not yet. Oh, wow. That's good. Can I ask how, how many years you've been injecting? We forgot to ask you. 15. 
15 okay, years. Okay, awesome. I'm going to put you up into the master bracket of <laughs> injectors. You know, because I don't I, think I'll I, ever be a master. I think no, we're always I know. learning. You use that term very, very loosely. But you know, the the purpose yeah. of these types of episodes is to talk to all levels of injector. Um, I'd love to get someone who's literally done a week of training and just see what they have to say. Yeah. Because uh, it would be interesting to, to reflect on the things that, you know, Laurie says and our other injectors, you know, have things really changed or, or not? I suspect closer to not. Mm. So, yeah, it'd be interesting. Thanks so much for watching the podcast clip. You can listen to the whole audio episode of the podcast on your favorite podcast app on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And please also leave us a review on the podcast app. If you like what we do, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when we release new content.